Hello and welcome to Grim Survival's Trucker Tuesday. It is Tuesday again. Tuesday, November 26th, 2019. And yeah, it's Trucker Tuesday. And we are approaching the busiest traveling weekend of the year. This has been the busiest travel week of the year, I believe. As, uh, well, sometimes you can look it up. It says so. So, um, obviously, it's a good week for Trucker Tuesday because we're going to see a lot more trucks than we usually do. We already have been, really. I mean, if you guys have paid any attention to the amount of trucks on the road you can see obviously there are a lot more than usual and this is due to things like black friday cyber monday things like that this you know is the time of year where people have turned a nice holiday to be thankful into a shopping spree so that's what has happened and this translates into truck drivers being made to work more so thanks we appreciate that we don't we really don't um yeah, it would be nice for all truck drivers to have Thanksgiving off. Most truck drivers don't have Thanksgiving off. Most truck drivers spend Thanksgiving in their trucks and they eat something at a fast food or a truck stop that probably isn't even remotely like turkey. Sometimes truck drivers get lucky and they're delivering to a place that's having a dinner for their employees because they are all in the same boat really of having to work on a holiday because of people wanting to shop. Thanks again. Um, yeah, I know it's not. Most of my su subscribers wouldn't aren't in, in a, anywhere near Black Friday. We, we, yeah, people like me don't go into stores anyway. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm sure most of you agree with me that avoiding those places is uh, really a, a thing that we do. Just to say it nicely, we, we just avoid them. There's plagues there. There probably really are plagues there at this point. But, um, yeah, don't go in stores. Don't support holiday shopping it's just it's making people in warehouses work overtime it's making truck drivers work overtime it's making my wife work overtime i have a four-day weekend so yeah yay me but yeah that's probably because i threatened to quit and be fired and all that other stuff too but um yeah as you can see i'm still in my my big big ugly big truck thing it's not mine it's the rental i will have it for about another couple of hours and then i am being made to go pick up my truck from where it is sitting at a shop apparently it runs again i have to drop this truck off i have to take an uber to where the other truck is i have to pick that truck up and uh, you know in between all that i still have to do all of my normal you know routine my normal job so yay me but at least i have a four-day weekend and, but like i was saying most truck drivers get stuck working on thanksgiving they you know spend the holiday in their vehicles i have done it several years in a row i've done it i've missed christmas i've missed birthdays i've missed well you know everything yeah that's what you do when you're a truck driver you miss things the biggest problem with it is is on a holiday most truck drivers while they have to make their deliveries still or they're making deliveries the next day or late that night as it tends to be with department stores is you're either making the deliveries early thursday morning you're making them thursday afternoon or you know you're making them very early friday morning or which would you know sometime after midnight anytime after midnight to 5 a.m typically yeah so most truck drivers end up uh just they don't do anything but stay in their truck that's it you, you get stuck in your truck and being made to wait you deliver to a place like walmart um they open the doors at a certain time some of them are open now all day on thursday some of them are not they open the doors at a certain time and yeah then you can go in and shop and get yourself some food if you're a truck driver most restaurants aren't going to be open in a you know a little shopping area like that until yeah convenience stores gas stations and things like that are always open because people travel a lot so yeah that's kind of a necessity for people that are traveling to have fuel so yeah there's always those that have to work on the holiday i mean i've worked in warehouses i've had to work it i've worked in trucks i've had to work it it's just what you do i guess forced slavery at its finest right because that's that's really what it is forced slavery but anyway a lot of extra trucks on the road, a lot of extra cars on the road, a lot of extra accidents happening. I seen one this morning, a couple of cars, somebody was probably texting. Can't be sure of it, but usually when somebody rear ends someone else on an interstate, that is due to texting, picking up your device and looking at it. Or It's not even always texting. Some people, you know, they look at the map, their GPS, they're trying to change where they're going and they're not paying attention, boom. But whatever it is, it's always messing with a phone or a device of, of some sort 
always well not always but 90 percent of all the accidents you see where somebody rear ends somebody that's what it is it's just lack of paying attention and usually people don't pay attention because they're on these it's actually a proven fact that people drive better when they're drunk well depending on how drunk they are than when they're texting and the studies i've seen say that they're very similar so yeah if you're texting and driving you might as well drink and drive because you're you're basically doing the same thing and you're just as dangerous to the you know the family and the children that are in the minivan next to you yeah so don't do it and watch out for people who do there are so many people like i said so many truck drivers are working the holiday they're away from their families they're irritated they're in bad moods they're texting they're driving they're trying to you know tell their wife that it's not their fault and etc cetera, etc cetera. call their kids and say hey i'm sorry i can't make it this year that's what's going on with truck drivers and yeah they, they do the same thing they're on their phones or texting they're not paying attention they're texting you have a truck driver driving something like this that weighs you know up to eighty thousand pounds and some guy's irritated and texting because he's working on the holiday and he runs over someone's car happens happens every year happens almost every day almost every day if not every day it really does um i had to pick up the tripod thingy here because the truck's bouncing and this is actually a a selfie stick type thing and it's about to fall over so now you're a lot closer to me you're welcome um yeah let's see if i can put it down while the forklift's out but yeah all i could say for trucker tuesday this holiday season is drive safe drive smart don't look at your phone it's not that important even if you're lost it's not that important being lost is fun try it out sometime it's something that's really difficult to do anymore there's too many street signs and too many of these yeah i used to, i remember when i could get lost where i actually could get lost do you does anybody remember when they could get lost because you really can't anymore you can't it's just it's not really possible i mean there are some dirt roads out in the middle of texas where yeah if you're driving back through them you might not get out of there in a couple of for a couple of days but eventually you'll find your way out you can't really get lost you really can't but i got a question to pose before i end this video i'd like to ask everybody just think about it and put your answers in the comments. I'm going to tell you what my answer is before the video is over. But the question is, what do you think would happen if all the trucks just stopped for a day? One day. Just one. All the trucks. Like every truck. Everything that hauled anything. And that including my semi truck, any truck like mine, box trucks, the little bitty trucks that deliver the, you know, the packages, the mail trucks, the Amazon trucks, all of them. What if they all just stopped for one day? What do you think would happen? You know, um, I don't know if it's true or not, but I've heard since I became a truck driver that truck convoys are illegal. I, I know, you know, uh, some of the older generations will remember the, the convoy songs, you know, the old country songs about convoys, Smokey and the Bandit and stuff like that. Um, I've been told that that's illegal. You cannot drive in a convoy anymore. Also, they've made all the trucks different speeds. Every truck is governed at a different speed. Some of them do 60, some of them do 50-something miles an hour. Quite literally, they cannot go faster than uh, 50, what is it, 57? I don't remember the name of the company, but I wouldn't work for them. Um, a lot of trucks are at 65, some of them are at 70. The truck I'm sitting in can do 70 when the cruise control's on, 67 when it's not, which is just stupid. Um, it's actually dangerous to do it that way. That's a different video. Uh, it, but yeah, this truck can do 70. My other truck can do about 80. Um, yeah, we won't tell you why I know that. Um, I'll be getting that truck back today. Keep that in mind. But yeah, every truck is governed differently. Convoys are supposedly illegal. Truck drivers, if you listen to the CB, there's so many people that get on there and do such the most obnoxious things on the CB that you just don't even want to listen to it. So they've really just, you know, the same thing they've done with, the, you know, just the general population of the United States. They've just put everybody against each other. That's, you know, divide and conquer. They've done the same thing with truck drivers, convoys. Because if truck drivers, and it, here's my answer, if truck drivers was would get together and unite and shut it down for one day, we could change the entire country in one day. Yeah, quite literally. You could hold the whole country hostage if you shut down the trucks if you had the power to stop them all you could hold the country hostage and you would they would meet any demand you had they would have no choice everything you have has touched more than one truck you see that's that's one thing that a lot of people will say that everything you have has touched a truck but no that's not accurate everything you have has touched more than one truck at least two but on average i'd say about four 
on average. Now that's not a number I've researched, that's just from my experience what I would say about four trucks per every item that you touch. Now some items have multiple parts like this. Electronics came from one place, the wire came from another place, the rubber thing came from another place. Every single thing on here touched at least two trucks, everything. So how many trucks for one little thing? Well, we just shut it down for a day, everybody would be at our mercy, really. Because you wouldn't have food, you wouldn't have gasoline, you wouldn't have clothes, you wouldn't have your car, you wouldn't have anything that you own. Every single thing that you own, everything. Unless you got it back in the long time ago before trucks, and it's been passed down through your family, you know, there's always the exception there. But anything that you have now, that you need now, food being primary, water, gasoline, or diesel, depending on what your, you know, what it uses, it touched a truck. The shirt, truck, the pin, truck, everything. Even the truck came on a truck. Now, how, there, there's the chicken and the egg question right now. What came first, the truck or the truck that hauled the truck? So, some truck had to haul the truck, but how did they get the parts to haul the truck if they didn't have a truck to haul the truck? with? You, you see where I'm going with this. All right, that's going to be enough for me for one day before I, I try to make riddles and rhymes. Um, but, yeah, just answer the question in the comments if you would. What do you think would really happen if the truckers just shut it down for one day? Nothing moved. One single day. That's it. Just one day. My, my, you know, you've heard what I thought. So that's going to be enough of Trucker Tuesday. I hope everybody has a good holiday. I have a four-day weekend. I will probably do something live this weekend. And you'll probably see a video out of me here or there over the weekend. Maybe. Uh, got a couple things I'm doing, but mostly just staying home with the family. So, yeah. Hopefully everybody has a great holiday. Drive safe. Don't drive like me. Don't, you know, don't text and drive. Just get to where you're going. Get there safely. Pay attention to the people on the road around you because they are texting and driving and they will run you over. They will. I've seen them do it. So, yeah, be safe. And remember, it's grim out here.